We're going on a bit of a drive today and headed to Ohio to do something pretty exciting. <laughs> is Kaja. She is a Norwegian elk hound and her name Kaja actually in Scandinavian means pure but come to find out it also in Old Norse means hen or chicken and it's pretty ironic because I didn't know that until after I picked the name and the name was actually a suggestion by my mom and if you didn't know the Norwegian elk hounds were commonly used by the Vikings to hunt things like elk and wolves and even bears I think um, and interestingly in our family lineage we actually have Viking so hopefully <laughs> cutie she um, she'll do really well with our chickens and future livestock that we have but uh, I've read a lot of good things around, about having the elk hounds around chickens and other livestock and that they can make good guardians. So we're gonna get her started. <laughs> we're gonna get her started early with training. Yeah. Of course there's snow outside today and um, we'll see what she thinks about the snow. But she's been a good girl. She's seven weeks old right now. Yeah, you could be a good girl, huh? <laughs> You get set? Come on, look at you. There you go. We're just really working on things like name recognition. Kaja! Kaja! <laughs> and potty training. She was really timid and shy when we first brought her home, but she's really opened up to us a lot. Where are we going? Of course, right now the big thing is just trying to get enough sleep at night because I started to do the whole thing with crate training and all that. I don't know, I just kind of changed my mind. I wasn't real happy with how that was going right off the bat and I didn't like how uncomfortable it was making her. And since she was already so shy and timid, I definitely didn't want to give her any negative feelings about us. <laughs> Is that tasty? I doubt it. How can that be tasty? <laughs> I did just kind of briefly introduce her to the chickens and I think she was as afraid of the chickens as they were afraid of her. Check on these maple buckets while I'm out here. There's some in them. Might get a little bit. Yeah. My American breast eggs did come in and they're just resting. Oh, good. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha, you're stuck all over the place. What are we doing? Just going around and around the tree. Okay. Aren't you cold? Aren't you cold, my puppy? <laughs> my American breast eggs did come in and I've just been resting them. I'm gonna get them in the incubator once they've rested for 24 hours to make sure the air cells settle and everything. So they should be about ready to go in the incubator when I go inside here in a little bit. We're gonna have to get you inside soon. It's very chilly out here for a little puppy. Come on, you're chilly. I can see you're shivering. Come on. Kaja is taking a nap, so it's a good time to get out for a little bit and let these chickens out. And we did keep them locked up in their coop for actually, what, a little over a week now? And just can't do it anymore. So we were kind of started with just letting them out in the evening for a little bit, and now I'm letting them out kind of a little earlier than that, just later in the day. Uh, maybe the hawk has had a meal by now already and that reduces our chances of losing a chicken, but I know it's gonna happen again. It's just a matter of when. <sighs> it's so frustrating. But I guess on one hand, at least I don't have to worry about losing Uni. The hawk already got him. 
your best to not get eaten, please. It's cold weather to go away. I love how they go straight to the wood section back here where I don't want them to go really because that's where the hawk has attacked and killed two of our chickens. But we still have this damage here to our fence that because of weather and work and other things going on that we haven't been able to get to yet. But once we can get this fixed, we can close this gate and keep them from going back here in these woods. Because honestly, I'd rather for them to be out here working the garden. When I put the breast eggs in the incubator, of course I have that one single egg that has already been in there for uh, a week at this point. So I'm gonna kind of have a staggered hatch. I'm pretty excited to raise a new little baby chick. <sighs> Here's Oni. I'm a chicken. Mm. I do have my hands full now though with this puppy. I think it'll be a really good thing. Keep me distracted. <laughs> I think I spend way too much time thinking about Uni. The snow has melted pretty quick. I think it got up to like almost 40. I better get back in here and see if this puppy has gotten into anything since I've been gone. All right, chickens. Whatever you do, stay alive. That's all you gotta do. One goal, stay alive. <laughs> Did you miss me? No, 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 we gotta work on that. You can't be doing that. The whole reason we had to go all the way to Ohio to get Kaja is because the Norwegian elk hounds aren't exactly a common breed. And we were able to find an Amish family in Ohio that breeds them. We're just kind of having a little bit of downtime right now while we're waiting for this winter weather to pass. But I do think I'm gonna be starting my tomatoes and some more peppers tomorrow. And one of the things that I'm thinking about doing is setting up a little fenced in area back where the chickens stay and planting like a chicken food plot back there. But I need this mud to kind of dry up some so I can get my little tiller out back there. So hopefully I'll be able to do that next week. But I think right now I'm gonna go ahead and get started on some dinner. I'm making chicken parmesan tonight. And I think I'm gonna candle that single little egg that's in the incubator because I was saying it was a week old, but I think it's actually like a week and four days or something like that. So I should see some pretty good progress on it. And I think Kaja is gonna have a little baby chicken to grow up with, so that should be interesting. Looking really, really good. So we'll see. Don't count your eggs before they hatch, right? <laughs> but it looks good. <laughs> Ooh, it is chilly tonight. What happened to early spring? <laughs> Put these chickens up. Got some snow. Hopefully, all the chickens survived. Close their windows too, have their windows open. Everybody's in here. Close your windows. 